Hello all you beautiful people, how are you doing today? This is the Love of Tim Tosin, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome, hi, how are you? Today we're going to be talking more about Tinker's Construct, but today we're going to be talking about not only my favorite tools, but also how to make the unbreakable tools, like the unbreakable pickaxe, because they are awesome! So I love having at least one something unbreakable, usually a pickaxe at least, um, but we will talk about some other unbreakable ones that are absolutely awesome, plus some of my favorite other tools. So, first of all, we're going to start with the unbreakable pickaxe, because that's what everybody wants to know, right? How do you make the, it unbreakable? So first of all, you can have whatever kind of cobalt, uh, whatever kind of head and binding you want, as long as you use a paper tool rod. You could also switch and use a paper binding. But you need paper so it gives you that one extra modifier. So when you put it in, you need to have four modifiers in order for this to work. So I'm using a cobalt pickaxe head, a manulin binding, and a paper tool rod. Okay? Now, to make it unbreakable, we need to add one more modifier because we need a total of five. So we're going to use a blue slime crystal, magma slime crystal, green slime crystal and a block of gold plus you're going to want to use a paper piece so for here i put a paper pickaxe head now it's going to emboss it with paper not replace one of it with paper okay so it'll even say over here that it's embossed with a paper modifier and you can only emboss it once so make note of that but we want it to have writable too because we need those five modifiers right here okay so then we're simply going to take that we're going to go over and we're going to take five reinforcement plates and those are just obsidian surrounded by one of the uh, the blank cast or any of the cast like if you accidentally have an extra okay so we're going to do it one two three four and you'll know right here it says reinforce four but you want it to say right here reinforced unbreakable so we take it back out. Now the only thing we can add to it at this point is another star. Because another star does not require a, um, a modifier slot to be available. But we can add another star. And that means if we die, the another star makes it soul bound. So if we die, we'll always have this with us. Now this is pretty cool because if we go down here for instance... Well, hello. And this is an unbreakable shuriken I made. But if we come down here, we can mine away. It's not the fastest thing in the world, but you can mine and it will never break. You'll notice that as we're mining, it's not, doesn't have a durability bar anywhere. It is actually unbreakable. So there won't be any durability. And the nice thing is because of what we used, the mining level on it is cobalt. So, good, good. All right, let's get back up here. Okay, so along those same lines, you can also make an unbreaking bull, hammer, shuriken. Most of the tools you can make unbreakable. But the ones that are, I think, most important would be the shuriken. So, we're going to make two different kinds of shurikens. The first one, we're going to have a manulin knife blade, bone knife blade, cobalt knife blade, and in knife blade, okay? The second one we're going to make, and you don't have to make two, I'm just showing you the difference, is an in knife blade, bone knife blade, manulin knife blade, and instead of the um, cobalt, we're going to use prismarine so that way it'll go in water. So whichever one of you, these you want to make, it's fine. But if you see, they're pretty close, 6 and 6.37 attack damage. But what we're going to do with them is we're going to make them unbreakable. So we're going to go back in here because every time you add, you want to emboss something. You have to use the crystals plus a gold block. But here we're going to take a knife blade. And we're going to add another modifier here. So it, that's going to give us a total of 5. So we're going to do that on both of these. We're going to go make them uh, unbreakable. Plus, I like the way it looks. 
and there you go unbreakable let me do the other one and i'll be right back okay so now we have both of these unbreakable simply by putting the five reinforced plates on them and that's how you make anything unbreakable you have to replace you have to uh, depending on the tool you have to use one piece of paper when you're making it like for the pickaxe or for the shuriken you don't have to because the paper adds two modifiers so that's pretty nice but the shurikens they're not the best thing in the world but you know what they never run out so let's see and they pr they're pretty far I mean look how far away that sheep was these will never run out now sometimes you have to go a bit higher see it's not gonna get that but let's see if we can get that chicken there there we go so I like this one a lot it one kills most everything now for like um, zombies and skeletons and that I do think it takes three shots uh, but I think we have a skeleton over here we could go test out but it is completely unbreakable you would not have to worry about it breaking on you see three whoops I don't know why I put buttons on there they drive me nuts but three shots okay so it's a pretty good weapon and I know a lot of people um, aren't too fond of shurikens but you know what if it comes down to it and you're in a bind and say you only have one nether star to soulbound something soulbound a shuriken because then no matter what you know soulbound a shuriken soulbound a pickaxe that way you have constantly a way to defend yourself but you also have a way to dig yourself out via the pickaxe all right so those are unbreakable and anything even if it you don't have a modifier you can add another star which will add soulbound all right so let's talk about a hammer so a hammer we can also if you see this has three modifiers so I'm doing this out of two cobalt a cobalt hammerhead so all three cobalt and then a tough tool rod for the so that's gonna make us a hammer and then oh you know what I left it down here I was extra smart okay so then I have the same setup here we add the hammerhead mm, that was supposed to give us another modifier hold on okay so um the hammer we're gonna make two different ways so the f first one I went and got us a paper large plate uh, the first one is so we can make it unbreakable but the second way um, is we're gonna make it so it is silk touch because anytime you use sponge it gives you silk touch so then we're gonna go make it unbreakable again exact same way Mm -mm. There it is. All right, so so we can add an extra modifier to that one, but we want to make sure and add an extra modifier to uh, this one. Oh, that one already has four. This one right here, because that will give us. Wait a minute. Why is that not giving me five? Oh. Okay, so I told you wrong. You want the sponge tough Torah, the two large cobalt plates, and the paper hammerhead. And that gives you four. And then, um, then add the paper uh, here. And not that one okay so then uh, it can't be the head because that's what I did over there so uh, I'm adding paper tough tool rods so that will give us the five and these we could do luck or whatever on but this one we could un make unbreakable
there we go. So now we have Unbreakable, Shuriken, Pickaxe, and a Hammer. And of course you can make Hammer regular too, but a Hammer, like, I don't find the need to have, like, um, uh, luck or anything on a Hammer, but that's just me. Okay, so next we're going to want a sword. Now, I do use a sword, but only sometimes. <clears throat> If I'm doing far away range, then I'll use either the shuriken or we're going to do a short bow. So for the rapier, we're going to use manual and short blade, fire crosswood guard, and cobalt tool red. Now we're not going to make this unbreakable, okay? We're just not. But what we are going to add to it, uh, for our rapier, we are going to add two redstone and two wither bone. So two wither bone and some redstone so oh there it is too many tables too many tables okay so we're gonna add the two necrotic bone because that adds life steal and then we're gonna add some redstone to make it faster and we are gonna fill that completely up whoops i need uh some dust not that all right, so then we're going to take that out, put some dust there, there we go. So this thing is going to be really super fast, it's going to be pretty awesome, let's put that back there. Um, let's see, let's actually take out some, let's go and kill some mobs. Look at that. Now, depending, and of course it has knockback. That's the built-in thing to a rapier sword. Now, there's also the cleaver. And the reason why I also make a cleaver is because beheading. <coughs> Excuse me. So, for beheading, we're going to want to add extra to this. It already has beheading too. But uh, we're going to add... Lapis and quartz. So I'm going to make this out of manulin, the large plate, the large sword blade, and then we're going to use cobalt and manulin for the tough tool rods. Okay? And this one we're not doing unbreakable either just because there, there's not really a point. Okay, so for this one we're going to put, there it is, we're going to put that there. And we're going to add, uh, let me grab the stuff and I'll be right Okay, so for this one, we're going to add two levels of quartz, which is going to give us sharpness. Um, and then we're going to do three levels of lapis. So we want luck. More luck. And there, up. Oh. And then we can add more quartz. There we go. So look at this. It's got luck 2. It's sharper. It's 21.78 with looting 2. So now... Now, normally what I would use this for is for... Uh, like when I need to go kill a wither. Because, as you can see, it's slow. But you're more likely to get heads out of whatever you're trying to get. So I usually use the cleaver for purposely getting the wither skulls. So that's what I use that for. And then next we're going to do a really awesome cobalt lumber axe. So for this one we're going to use, as you guessed it, cobalt for quite a bit. So cobalt, large plate, cobalt, tool rod cobalt bradhead axe and an obsidian tough tool rod binding now for this we're going to make it pretty fast so we're going to put um we're going we're going to put a diamond on it to give it a little bit of durability and don't forget while we're going through all this don't forget to you know when you have uh, uh where did i put it there it is uh, when you have when you're going through all this 
when you have a wither uh, another star make sure and put soulbound on all your tools because then when you die you'll still keep them all right so then we're gonna put redstone because we're gonna want this fast like really fast why did that do that and I will show you why and this is gonna be like you're gonna be oh my god I love it so much at least that's how I am all right so big tree right look at that talk about quick and it cut down the whole thing and yes a lumber axe does that anyway but this is pretty fast I mean think about it that was pretty fast all right so next we're gonna make uh, we're gonna make a mattock because let me move some of this we're gonna make a mattock because sometimes you just need a regular axe like when you're building for instance and maybe you just need a shovel so what I like to do instead of doing a hatchet and a shovel separately I like to make the mattock so cobalt for both heads the axe head and the shovel head and then sponge for the rod because that'll give it silk touch so we're gonna do this and then we're gonna add um, we're gonna add speed to it because I don't need it to be anything other than fast so then when we go and we need to collect supplies quite a bit for instance uh, if we needed to go select get some gravel some sand you know when you're out gathering supplies to do a project or something on the sand it's not so fast but look at this on the grass and look at that it's silk touch so for the sand I mean I usually don't get a lot of sand so uh, excuse you no I'm trying to do this here thank you so for the sand just don't do the sponge for the handle do something else for the handle um, if you wanted to auto smelt it you could do firewood let me sleep real quick Okay, so for the handle, you could do um, you could do the fire smelt, and that would uh, the firewood tool rod, and like if you're doing on the uh, on the glass, my favorite thing, and I'm not even going to upgrade it right now just because time wise, but then wait a minute, am I using the right one? No, I'm not. Wait, what? Oh, that's not working. Okay, hold on. Something's not working. They are back. Hmm. Okay, so they must have changed something. So, um, I did the same setup except for I did it with just a regular shovel and it has auto smelt. And it works the way that I was talking about. It'll just automatically turn this into glass, which is nice if you need a whole bunch of glass. You can just go to a desert and pick up a whole bunch of sand with it and voila, you know. You don't have to wait for it to cook, waste the charcoal, anything like that. Um, the weird thing about the mattock is it does work on the trees, though. I came over here and tried it. It does auto-smelt the trees. Whoops, wrong one. Into charcoal. But it is not working for some reason on the sand. I have used it that way before. But if you're having that same problem, then uh, the shovel does work with auto smelt. Uh, I don't know if that's a bug right now, but just be aware of that. All right, so next we're going to make a bow. And this is the last thing we're going to make. Because this is quite a bit of tools. These are pretty good tools. Pretty good tools and for the different kind of things that you're going to want to do honestly i rely on my shuriken for a lot of stuff just because the fact that it's unbreakable it, it takes only three hits i'm good i mean i'm happy but we're going to make a short bow because it can shoot longer distances than what our shuriken can so we're going to use cobalt and manulin um uh, we want 
short bow, yeah. All right, so we're going to use cobalt bowlin, manulin bowlin, and just regular string. So we're going to craft that, and then on this, we're going to add, uh, where's our, we're not going to make it, uh, let me grab the modifier. Okay, had to get the supplies. All right, so for the short bow, we're going to add a diamond because that's going to increase our durability. And then we're going to add speed because we don't need sharpness on here. We need the sharpness on the bow. What we need on here is speed. So we're going to put the rest into redstone so that way it shoots really fast. Uh, we're going to have to break one of these down. There we go. All right, so now we have that, and let's see with the arrow shaft that we're gonna make. So for this, we're gonna make a manual and arrowhead, an end rod, because the end rod teleports, it, it gets it instantly to your target, and a regular feather fletching. The reason why, because it has a 100% accuracy. So we're just gonna make the regular one, okay? Now there is another way, and I made it here. You can also make it ecological, so instead of end speed, before you have the end rod, you can do it with wood. And the nice thing about the wood is it's auto repair. But, uh, so that's the way you can make it first off. But I did it here with end rod because that's the way I would actually like to do it and for this we're gonna add let me grab this okay so for this one we want it to have the sharpness so we're gonna add diamond so it increases what we have because without it we have 58 so then we're gonna have 108 ammo by adding the diamond and then we're gonna add sharpness and the sharpness is really what's gonna get us okay so as you can see with the first one, it's 14.36, then it's 15.85, and this is what we're going to go shoot everything with. So let's spawn some zombies in. Oh look, we even got some. And I know those were dying, but let's see. Let's see if we put one in here. One shot. Did you see that? One shot. So this is a freaking awesome bow. But like I said, and again, once you're able to, make sure you soulbound both the short bow and your arrows. Because you're you can repair them afterwards, so. Plus it makes them kind of look cool. I mean, look at that. Look at the way it looks now. But you can pretty much one shot most overworld mobs. Well, I think all overworld mobs. I don't think I've ever not one shot one with this, but it is a one shot bow when you combine it with the end rod arrows. Now you can do it with these arrows and I'll show you that too. And yeah, I did already enhance these. So with those, it's still one shot. So I just wanna show you, I put the other one away. So this is with the wood. You can still one shot them with your bow. And this is the short bow. And the reason why I prefer it over the longbow and over the crossbow is that with these enhancements on it, it shoots really fast and it shoots them really hard. So there you go. Hopefully that was a little bit helpful. If it was, hit that subscribe button. It'll really help me out and it'll help me get more of these videos out. So let me know. Till next time, this is Lava Temptress. Don't get burned.